evil beings. And they've been around, they, you know, like you hear about Zenu and all that shit. Zenu was a psych. You got it? So he just he wasn't, wasn't a practicing psychiatrist. psychiatrist. No, he was practicing Zenuism. You got it? Gotcha. Now they're called psychs. So you better beware. I remember one time Am I, I visited. Right? Fuck me. One, one time I visited the Celebrity Center, um, and, and it just walked in uh, late at night, and looked around and said, well, what goes on in here? Right. And they, um, they, they woke up the projectionist to show me the orientation. Oh, nice. I yeah. had my own private screening that uh -huh. night. And they had some poor Sea Org kid, maybe 15, 16 year old, years old, babysitting me in the theater. Right. Well, you're not allowed to watch the movie alone. Right. Well, I was. You're not allowed yeah. to do what? Because you get, get an MU. Like, he was watching to make sure you didn't have any... Lack of mass kind of shit. And he was making small talk before that. And he was saying, well, you know, uh, you remember the Salem witch trials? Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, it was the psychs behind that. <laughs> well, I, I don't think there were psychiatrists back then. And he went, oh, no, 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 no not the psychs. I mean the, uh, uh, the pharmaceutical companies. Oh, dear goodness. No, not quite. See, these are the kids, you just got to, you know, you dash off a get well soon card and, and that's about it because it's, it's sad, you know, that's, and that's, that's and, and you know, this is the interesting thing. This is the, and it goes back to, uh, you know, to answer further the question of, you know, what did you perceive? You, what I perceived, and I, and I kind of avoided the question by saying I got stupider, but let me tell you something. These are good people. These are these are, these are some of the best people you can meet. These are people who really want to help. They're willing, I mean, they're willing to give up their entire life and their own personal ambition to help others. You know, that's a, that's a pretty rare, uh, and, 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 and generally you would say, you know, it's a, it's a pretty decent person. That, that, that's the thing. They, and, you know, and I would say, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not a bad person, you know. If I saw me walking around there, I'd say, okay, he's okay, you know. Uh, but when you say you got stupider, how do you think that happened? Well, what, well the, in my opinion, again, and I'm, I'm only out of Scientology about a year or so, less, less than a year, uh, officially. Um, but uh, in my opinion, what, I, what I've gathered as I, as I wake up, you know, it's a funny thing in Scientology, you feel as though you're waking up to the truth, the reality, or what really is. But what you're doing is waking up to the reality of Scientology, which is that, not the actual, the reality, which is the, the, the agreed upon universe of what is. And, um, and, and basically, in my opinion, in my opinion, the, 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 the best thing you can be is yourself. And, and, and that's who you are. And that, you know, there's, there's degrees to which you can actually become yourself. And, and that's probably what the whole spiritual interest is. I, I, you know, I, for me, I don't really know. But what, what, what Scientology, the trick of it is, it, it, it makes you feel as though... You're sold that you're actually becoming yourself. But what you're actually becoming is, my name is Jason Begay. I was becoming Jason Begay, the Scientologist, rather than just, not even Jason Begay, but me. And the trick is, and you say, how do you fall for this shit? Go back to my first fucking win. Because it's me. It's me. And, I, and so there is, there is you. But then it's you are through, I can't explain it, pressure of the group or, I can't, this is the thing I'm trying to get. Because I've never been like a guy, well, i got to get a pair of those shoes because everybody's wearing them. I, I, it's not been, I've been always, oh, i got to find my own if everybody's wearing those things. But it's like, and maybe that's how I got out to some degree is that I always try, you know, I mean, I'm not saying I never, you know, you know bought a BMW or whatever the fuck people want to do, you know, but it's like, it's, it, it, it to me, it, it, it gives you a way of thinking 
that, to, at least for me and from what I observe of others, is not native to that actual, that person. I think, as I said before, in my opinion, I suspect, I'm no Dalai Lama, but I think that the best thing you can be is yourself. And that if you can do that truthfully, it'll be beautiful and successful and, and interesting. I don't know about success, like how you define it, but it'll be a worthwhile time spent. And, uh, and, and what happens is you, you, you are sold, and you, the, again, the trap is good because you sell it to yourself. Because you, if you're not on course, you're wanting to be on course, or you should be on course. You've got your own self in jail. It's an autopilot gig. It's quite good. I think there's some hypnotism in there or something. I don't quite know. But it's quite surprising. And, uh, and, and so at the end of the thing, you end up being, you know, you know, like here's an example. You start the ethics technology. So you start thinking, okay. And you start thinking in terms of the conditions of existence that he laid out and that these are behaviors. And so you, now you're not just going, you know what the fuck, I think I need to take a walk and I think I got to become, uh, I'm going to be, a, you know, an insurance salesman. And that's my truth. You know, it's, you know, you have to go through these steps and do this. It's like retarded. It's not, it's not true. It's not true. You know, and I did ethics cycles and conditions. And they, nothing changed. I've seen people who've done them and they've changed. So I don't know, you know, whatever. You know, but there's a placebo effect. I don't quite know. Tori, how many times did you do the PTSSP course? Uh, you know, it's like on and on and on. You have to, every time you go PTS, which is the human condition, you got to do the course over and do this shit. Let me tell you something. It's, it's a, that's another racket. PTS. I'm not sure if we got PTS description PTS on camera. PTS is potential trouble source. So all injury, accident, and illness. Listen to those three words. All. All. Injury, accident, illness. Ow. Oh. Is all because of PTS. Everything. Everything negative that happens is because of PTS, which means... You are a P potential T trouble S source. Wow, that sounds weird, a potential trouble source. So in other words, not only did you just slip and, 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 and split your lip, but you better get away from this guy because if you're near him, you're going to split your lip too and your business is going to fail. He's a potential trouble source. So you've got to take him out. It's like he's got, you know, it's like you don't come to school with the flu. This is what it, this is like the spiritual flu. So it's like heavy shit. And now there's only one reason that you are a potential trouble source. One reason is that you're connected to an SP, which is a suppressive person. Now this is the two and a half percent of awful people like Tori <laughs> who are fucking it up for the rest of us. Good people. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, Oh, it's a funny thing. It's funny. You know, the, you know, as I zip around, my best friend, this is my best friend. I mean, like, this is a guy that I was, in ninth grade, I met this guy. And like, I saw this guy, came to my school in ninth grade, and I said, I saw this guy, and I, and I, and I was a gregarious kind of kid, and it was new, and I saw him. And I said, you know something? You and I are going to be friends. I think that's the first thing I ever said to him. And, uh, and I was right. He's a big famous actor now. And uh, an amazing guy, David Duchovny. And, uh, and uh, David, my best friend, I mean, I'm talking about a friend, uh, Our relationship was adversely affected by my being in Scientology. He was very cool, you know, but he wasn't into it. He wasn't, he was happy for me. He never gave me any fucking thing about it, you know. But, uh, and I think his wife, you know, I, I, I you know, I perceived that, you know, she was a little bit more like,